Hi, koalas. We're going to review our digraphs. Remember, digraphs are two letters, one sound. Two letters, one sound. Do it with me. Two letters, one sound. Two letters, one sound. We've learned two so far, and I'm going to show you the next three so that we have all of them ready. All right. This one, S H ship, S H ship, sh. And we came up with some words that start with the S H digraph two last week. Good job with that. This one, remember this digraph? T H thumb, T H thumb. We also learned that a couple of our snap words, words we know in a snap, start with the TH digraph, like the word the, which is a really common snap word. Here are our new ones. CH, this digraph says ch, CH, chin, ch, CH, chin, ch. You can think about some words that start with CH if you want to pause the video and think about some words that start with the CH digraph. The next one is CK. And now what's interesting about this digraph is it's actually only found at the end of a word. So where we had CH, chin, chin is C-H-I-N, ch-i-n, ch-i-n, three sounds, CH is at the beginning. CK is only at the end. So think about the word sock. And I have my shoe on, but I have my sock underneath. <laughs> so our motion for that one is C K sock K C K sock K. So that's fine. You get to touch your foot. Um, that one only comes at the end. C K, like in the word sock. Sock is s -a -k. S -a -k. sock. And that C K sound is at the end. So Four letters, but three sounds in sock because of our CK digraph. Two letters, one sound. Sock. Sock. Our last one is WH whistle. WH whistle. WH whistle. Think about if there are any other WH words that you know. Those are our five digraphs. CH. T H. Oh, sorry, that was S H S H. <laughs> Miss Perry's brain today. T H W H C K at the end and C H. All right, let's go through them really quickly. Okay, I'm actually going to do that on another video, and we're just going to go through the digraphs, the sounds, and the motion. So check the next video for that.